Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is a video tour of our new Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the TradingView platform. It's good for stocks, futures, forex, even cryptocurrency. So we're going to go through a few examples here. So this is PFE, which is a stock on the daily time frame. Our Indicator Suite has labelled these Elliott Waves, the 1, the 2, the 3, and then the Wave 4 has pulled back and found resistance in our amber zone. This gives it an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 low into our automated target zones down here. Uh, we have our 6-4 moving average high and low, these moving averages here red and green. The red is for our entries and the green is uh, for entries short and the green is for entries long. The sub charts that we also provide a special false breakout stochastic down here, the top of the two sub charts. With the yellow dots here, we can see that is a really strong bearish trend. Then when the stochastic pulls back against there on a wave four, the likelihood is it wants to return back to that main bearish trend and form the fifth wave. Also, we also measure the behavior of this fourth wave pullback with our Elliott wave oscillator. So this pulls back between 90 and 140%, see it's crowned here, of the highest point on this wave three. So that's how stocks behave. Let's have a look at something else. Okay, so this is a Forex example, Euro, New Zealand dollar on a 15 minute here. And we see the Elliott waves have been labeled again, one, two, three, the wave four came back into the green zone, 85% probability it will go on and hit the fifth wave target zone, and it did, and that's where it is right now, form the fifth wave move. Again, when we look at the false breakout stochastic at the bottom here, we zoom in, we can see before the wave four pullback, we have our false breakout dots forming. It then pulls back against the false breakout, crosses over in the oversold zone, and then returns to that main bullish trend, and that's the fifth wave that we traded. And then the performance of this wave four, we see on the oscillator here, we pulled back between 90 and 140% on the oscillator, and then came back for the fifth wave. So again, shorter time frames, Forex, it doesn't matter, short time frames on stocks, Forex, futures, or even cryptocurrency. So let's look at a futures. So this is a futures example for RTY, where we've had a fifth wave move up here and gone longer and our software's reprogrammed it as a wave three. Now we've had another wave four pullback into the, into the bottom of our zone and we're looking for a fifth wave so even on a three minute for futures we've got some great looking potential trades and the final example I'm using Ethereum on the four hour just to show you how we isolate the wave count so we're looking for these lows this double bottom here I'm going to go to the slightly lower low here and I'm going to select the bar count number down at the bottom here we've got the bar count number which allows us to isolate the start of a trend so here we've got 6917, so we can actually adjust the start of the trend for the Elliott wave to 6917, and it will recount. So this is, again, recounted. We've got a uh, corrective phase here. Then we had the big move, the one, two, three. We had a wave four pullback, and now look at this in the four hour time frame. We had a fifth wave move on Ethereum, so it's good for cryptocurrency as well. So hopefully you can see the power of this new Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the TradingView platform to trade that very high probability fifth wave move.